Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And we do have an Arctic cold front that is passing through the upper Great Lakes region, including upper Michigan, and this is going to bring us a brief. I want to emphasize a brief shot of Arctic air. The bulk of it's going to stay across northern Ontario tomorrow, but we're going to be chillier as we go into tonight and on into the daytime on Friday. There is some snow associated with this storm system that's moving through upper Michigan, and it is on our local three radar network out over the open waters of Lake Superior. But as a whole here, there's really not much in the way of snow or rain associated with this storm system as it is continuing to move through the Great Lakes region, upper Great Lakes region, and this is what's going to be bringing us some snow tonight, not much, and also some wind, but I do think wind is going to be the bigger factor with this storm system over the next 12 hours. Lakeshore flood advisory is in effect with the strong west to southwest wind to west to northwest wind on the Lake Superior side of the Keweenaw Peninsula, so we could see some be lakeshore flooding and also maybe some minor beach erosion. Same deal across Luce County on the Lake Superior shoreline east of Grand Marais. Some minor beach erosion is possible and also some lakeshore flooding. Gale warning is in effect through tonight on into early tomorrow for the Lake Superior open waters, even some of the near shore Lake Superior waters across western portions of Lake Superior. Here's the current wind speeds. They're out of the west southwest at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, but we do have some higher gust in spots and the wind gust is going to be a factor for tonight at times across the Keweenaw Peninsula. They may be gusting over 40 miles per hour and even along the Lake Superior shoreline they could gust over 40 miles per hour from Grand Marais eastward. Otherwise for most of us it's going to be wind gusts that are over the 30 mile per hour mark. As we head into tomorrow morning as you can see we're going to keep some wind gusts going and then as we go into tomorrow afternoon some wind gusts eastern Lake Superior east Eastern Upper Michigan, but the winds will start to become lighter in the western UP and lighter winds will be the trend as we go into Friday evening. Current temperatures are in the 20s, upper 20s, around the 30 degree mark are at 30 for Houghton and also Copper Harbor. And as we look at our local three future cast, this is clouds, this is precipitation, and these are temperatures. And as you can see, some snow is possible tonight, but it's not really widespread. Tomorrow morning, some snow showers, but not much in the way of snow showers in, in the terms of lake effect and maybe a lake effect snow shower out east tomorrow. Otherwise, we do get back to the sunshine, but look at temperatures. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, they're not going far in the 20s. And as we look at your extended forecast, check out Friday night, early Saturday morning inland, falling into the single digits, teens closer to Lake Superior. And then for Saturday and Sunday and into next week, there's that moderation in temperatures with highs on Saturday, Sunday and into to next week in the 30s. Next round of precipitation in the terms of rain or snow will be on Sunday with some snow accumulation possible, especially away from the immediate shores of the Great Lakes. And then Monday or Tuesday, there is a rain or a snow chance for early next week. Nothing heavy, maybe a break from the precipitation. And maybe we sneak in a little bit of sunshine for the middle of next week with highs in the 30s. And then Thursday, temperatures will be in the 30s with a rain or a snow chance. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website at upmatters.com. So James, definitely a chilly one for the opening day of firearm season here in Upper Michigan. Okay, so protect yourselves and bundle up. Definitely. Okay, Tom, thank you. Up next on Local 3 News,